This video will cover the topic solving for a variable in terms of other variables in a rational equation. Problem type 2. What does it mean to solve for one variable in terms of other variables? In this topic, we will be presented with an equation that contains multiple variables. And when we are asked to solve for one of those variables, our answer will have that variable isolated and set equal to the rest of the variables and numbers. Let's look at an example problem. Solve for h in the following rational equation. f equals g divided by 4 plus h. Our first step is to multiply both sides of the equation by the binomial 4 plus h. Why do we multiply both sides by the entire denominator 4 plus h instead of just h? Good question. If we were to multiply both sides by h, the 4 plus h would remain in the denominator of the fraction. So this would just introduce more instances of the variable h when we are trying to isolate the equation for h. 4 plus h over 4 plus h is equivalent to 1, so the right side of our equation simplifies to g. Next, we should distribute the f on the left side, right? Not just yet. Recall that we are attempting to solve for h, so we should try to keep h as the only variable on its side of the equation. To further isolate h, we divide both sides of the equation by f yielding 4 plus h equals g over f. Lastly, subtract 4 from both sides, resulting in a final answer of h equals g over f minus 4. Let's do one more example. In this example, we will solve for v. x equals w times the quantity 7 minus v all over z. First, we should multiply both sides by z, right? That's right. This results in xz equals w times 7 minus v. Next, we divide both sides by w, thus isolating v as the only variable on its side of the equation. Lastly, we subtract 7 from both sides to result in our final answer. That's not our final answer just yet. Dividing both sides by negative 1 will result in our final answer of v equals negative xz over w plus 7. Okay, I think I understand now, but let me quickly summarize to be sure. When we are solving for a variable in terms of other variables, we need to make sure the variable we are solving for is not in the denominator by multiplying both sides of the equation by the denominator. Then, we isolate the variable by dividing or multiplying by another variable or coefficient. Once we have the variable we are solving for on one side of the equation by itself, then we have our solution. That's right. 